Hi guys, I'm here with Antonio Santeno and Antonio, thank you so much for being here, giving me this small interview. I know you, you are going to the airport right now, yep. heading back home. So thank you so much. Hey, not a problem, Alberto. I really appreciate uh, you making time for me and it was a pleasure to have you in from Brazil. Uh, I think it's just amazing here, at, you know, for this event we threw for StyleCon that men came from all over the world. And uh, Alberto, I've checked out your channel. I'm now a big fan. I went through, liked everything, and uh, I've actually yesterday in my live webinar, I'm sharing your channel. Oh, I had really? a gentleman. Thank you. I had a gentleman from Brazil. He's like, "Hey, how do I dress for hot weather?" I'm like, "This is your man because you live in. I mean, you live there. You know what it's like to dress for hot weather. And that's what I like about your channel is that it's geared towards Brazilian men." And, you know, anytime I'm telling guys, they're like, hey, how can I find a mentor? How can I find someone to, to learn from? I always say, look local, because that person's going to understand the environment. They're going to understand uh, just more about your culture and where you're coming from. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me a little bit? Could, could you tell us a little bit sure, about sure. your background, your history, your story? Sure. I grew up in Texas. Uh, then I joined, uh, or I went off to college. Then I joined the United States uh, Marine Corps. So within the, uh, so I know we got a foreign audience here. So within the United States military, the Marine Corps are kind of like the shock troops. We're the guys that are a little bit crazier. And uh, a lot of my friends were shocked that I joined the Marine Corps. I'm a pretty laid back guy, but I really enjoyed the camaraderie and I, I thought it was an amazing experience. Um, so we you know, did, did the whole Iraq thing. Uh, I was actually there in 2003 during the invasion, but I, I pulled back uh, after that. I actually left the Marine Corps and I went and I ran a nonprofit in Ukraine. Ukraine. My wife is from Kiev, Ukraine, and uh, we'd spent time over there basically uh, delivering food and medicine to orphans in uh, different parts of Ukraine in 2004. I was there for the Orange Revolution, came back to the United States, went to business school. I have an MBA from the University of Texas, which is a great international school. We actually have a lot of Brazilians that come oh, to uh, UT. Yeah, so uh -huh. it's a great, actually, one of my good friends, Rodrigo, is from uh, Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, and uh, and I did, yeah, and I yeah. did actually go to, uh, I did go to Rio and had a, had a great time uh, yeah so so you've got me excited about coming down and visiting and checking out where you're from so yeah be my guest <laughs> thank you thank uh, you so when did you start realizing uh, the power of dressing well sure and that kind of goes back to the first question how did I even get into this and it was something in the Marine Corps I learned the power of a uniform and how powerful it is when you actually wear something that sends the right message. So I get out of the Marine Corps, I'm looking around, most men don't know how to dress, I'm going to business school, and I'm like, you know, most of these suits these guys are wearing, they just don't fit. In the Marine Corps, I got my first fitted suit. So I got some custom clothing, I went through a traveling tailor, and I thought, why can't I do this online? So I started my first company, a tailored suit. That company, I, I don't really sell clothing anymore, but what I did learn is if I put out information, because I had to write uh, to be able to learn about, I didn't have time to go to fashion school. So I traveled, I went to Hong Kong, I went to Bangkok, I went to London, went to Milan, and I basically just paid tailors to teach me. And that's kind of a secret accelerated method. And I just dove in, studied, I started writing. I wrote about 50 articles at a tailored suit. Soon we started getting about 100,000 people a month to that website, wow. and it was like, wow, you know, I can really do something with this. Now, at Real Men Real Style, which broke off from a tailored suit as its marketing arm, and I focus more on casual style, not just custom clothing anymore. So I talk about casual style, grooming, business communication skills, yeah. and it's something that now we get, you know, close to probably about 70,000 men a day it's all we're about, able to reach. It's all about being a better man, you know? Yeah, you know, I ended up and I can I can say that I didn't start off with that mission my goal when I first started my company was to make money and to uh, to and I felt that there was a hole in the market but the more I did it the more I talked with men I realized wow we're really making a difference and so over a period of a few years it evolved and all of a sudden I realized I really enjoy helping men the clothing is a tool it's like a you know, it's like a race car driver. You know, everything about it is a tool for him to inspire others, for him to actually, you know, transform those around him, to actually get to and to feel greatness. And I try to help men understand that clothing is just a vehicle yeah, to help them send the message That's they true. want to send. That's true. Yeah. I have a, the, the last question for you. Sure. I receive a lot of questions uh, from my audience. Uh, they want men want to uh, dress well, 
Yeah. They really want to dress well, but, have been, but they are very concerned about uh, the masculine thing. Uh, what would you tell them about dressing well? Do you consider dressing well uh, a manly thing? Very much so. I look at, you know, just go back and look at history. Let's look at, uh, let's look at the Roman gladiators. Before they would go out on a field, they would make sure their armor was incredibly clean. Uh, yeah. A lot of times, any type of, you know, soldiers, let's historically go back, they would actually, all of their armor and their, everything that they were using, their weapons, very, you know, finely crafted. If you had money, you actually spent extra money. Uh, and it was about the function first, of course, yeah. but also you wanted it to look good. You wanted it to feel good. Uh, so for me, it was this, it's the soldier's uniform that comes back. This is something you put on, you want it to look great, you want to feel great, and you literally go into battle with this. Now for the modern day man, he's not really going into many battles, but he is going into business deals. Different battles. Exactly, yeah. different battles. Yeah. And the suit, I mean the jacket is still a suit of armor. And you know, you're going to get, I mean life is full of people that want to bring you down. For some reason, there are people that they just want to tear down others. Maybe it makes them feel better. You're going to run into those. But the vast majority of people are going to applaud your effort. They're going to say, wow, here's That's a guy. True. Here is a beacon in the, in the darkness. Here's a light. Some gentleman that's actually taking time. And I mean, our friend Raphael Schneider yeah, uh, yeah. over the gentleman's good at Now, he dresses to a whole nother level, but yet he owns it and he's confident. So dress well practice it, it takes it takes a while to get used to you need to get to a point when you, you that if you're not dressed well you feel strange yesterday i uh you know i'm running around in my athletic gear uh, tra you know exercising and stuff yes. and i ran into a few people and and i feel a little bit kind of awkward the fact that i'm in my athletic gear most people used to see me dressed up that's a good feeling and that's something that you know, it's good that I feel awkward because it's a natural state for me to actually be putting my best foot forward. Yeah, I know what you, what you say because uh, after I, I saw you yesterday, I saw Aaron uh, coming to yeah. the hotel and he was just like you coming from the gym. Yeah. And, and it, was, uh, it was so strange for, for me seeing him. And I know that this is a, it becomes part of your personality. Yeah. Well, Antonio, thank you very much for having this inter small interview Alberto, with me. Thank you very uh, much for coming. Can, can you I tell really people? Thank you very yeah. much. Can you tell people where do they, do they can find you? Yeah, just go to Real Men Real Style. We have a contact form. I have a lot of fun with that contact form, and just fill it out. And if you want to reach me, if you got questions, well, we we get back to everybody. So, okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Be my guest when thank you go to I Brazil. Appreciate it. I appreciate. It. Thank okay, you. thank you very much. See you then. E aí, gostou do vídeo? Se você gostou, se inscreva aqui no canal para você receber novos vídeos com várias dicas sobre moda masculina. E eu também preparei uma aula de 25 minutos, uma aula exclusiva, que se você quiser receber, clica na descrição do vídeo aqui agora para você ter as 5 melhores dicas sobre moda masculina. Eu sou Alberto Solon, um abraço, tchau!